Namaste, yoga friends. My name is Doreen Foxwell. Welcome to today's little special intro to doing yoga with your little ones and including a storybook. And being this weekend is uh, Easter and it's all about the bunnies, we wanted to show you a really cute book you might want to use. It's called White Rabbit's Color Book. And there's so many things at Easter time that are colorful. We wanted to show, share one or two ways to, to use a story, to use a book when you do yoga with your child and a little idea for your Easter eggs as well. And so let's start out, first of all, I've got a story, what can it be? I've got a story, come and sit with me. One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint, red, yellow, and blue. Mmm, those are great colors, aren't they? Sunshine yellow, she thought. How lovely. She's going to take a quick dip in the sunshine yellow. So we're going to honor the sun. And we're going to reach for the sun breathing in and reach down. And reach up for the sun breathing in and come down. Now, for your older students, you can do a sun salutation or a sun greeting. And those are a little bit more uh, complex, but I'm not going to show those today because I wanted to keep it very simple for the little ones. Yellow rabbit, bright as the sun. Now, what about red thought rabbit? What's this? Orange rabbit, red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash thought rabbit. So this is a great time for your little ones to imagine the water of a shower coming down on them, washing off all that paint off of rabbit. And I'm not going to go through the whole story, but this is an idea of how to integrate a storytelling with your yoga classes for your little ones at home or where they can show you some poses like the bunny pose, which Bunny breathing, breathe in and out really fast through your nose. And the bunny pose, well, every child can pretty much show you how to hop around like a bunny. And so I hope that you will take some of these tips into your own homes, especially during this Easter break. A lot of the kids are off of school and they won't have our regular yoga classes. But I promised a special tip for you, and I want to show you what that is. You know, in our Kids Yoga Meets Astrology classes, and even in some of our older uh, school-age classes to teen in regular yoga, we use crystals. And here's the, not some crystals, that the way that I keep the smaller ones. It's a nice little, like, fisherman tackle box type thing. What I did for my school age classes this past week was I took Easter eggs and I tried to use the same color egg and I would take a crystal, that color, put it in the egg. And that was a little gift for them, from me, from our school of uh, yoga or kids yoga meets astrology. And it's also a great way to do matching for your younger kids with this storybook on matching them with colors. Now, if you don't have crystals, it's okay. You may have other things at home that are small enough to put in there to match the colors of the eggs. And that's our little tip for your Easter weekend. We hope that you have a beautiful holiday weekend and we look forward to seeing the children soon. Namaste. Have a great Easter holiday. Have a great yoga day.